everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. So today's video, we are in the kitchen, not my usual kitchen, obviously. I've kind of been bouncing between some Airbnbs this summer. So I am working outside my studio right now. But of course, I'm gonna make this work for you guys. You will be happy to know that I have finally made my way onto TikTok. Yep, despite resisting it for so long because, ugh, it's the Wild West out there. I also feel like a little bit of an elder millennial because I'm struggling to figure it all out. But please give your girl a follow at Abby's Kitchen for lots of diet busting gold. Anyways, I have been scrolling through this app and wasting way too much time doing it. But in the process, I've encountered a treasure trove of diet recipes that made me feel both a little triggered, but also a little intrigued. I mean, I do appreciate when people get creative in the kitchen while trying to lose weight or eat healthier, because let's be real, a lot of diet food out there is really boring and bland. So I thought I would follow these recipes to the best of my ability and give you all my unbiased opinion on them. You are welcome. So first my disclaimer on the screen and in the description, including a trigger warning as I will be popping up macros and discussing some eating disorder behaviors. So feel free to skip that if it's not supportive to your journey. And of course, a reminder to subscribe to the channel and ring that little bell so that you never miss out on a video. All right, first up, we're gonna make a little snack. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the Walden Farms chocolate syrup, a little triggering for me. I mean, I used to eat a lot of these alleged calorie-free products when I was really deep in my eating disorder. So yeah, they taste like unhappiness to me personally, but I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with them if you like them. But I also don't think there's anything inherently wrong with real chocolate syrup if you like that. But FYI, these foods are actually not calorie free. You can label something as calorie free as long as it has less than five calories per serving. So as long as they list the serving in such a way that they can keep the calories under five, they can legally state it as being calorie free. All right, he had some yogurt, PB2. And I do love me some PB2. You guys actually know that this situation is a snack that I would, I would eat. I like peanut buttery Greek yogurt. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess already. But then he's gotta go in here with like a ton of this. So, mm. gonna have nightmares tonight. Oh, it's gloopy. And just, how did we get here? Okay, so I think that that is what it is. I'm not gonna do like a whole like sleeve of rice cakes because I don't have the appetite to consume that, nor do I wanna waste all my Greek yogurt. But then he has 30 calories worth of strawberries. So there's that. Oh my God, why am I using a butter knife to slice strawberries? Such a struggle. Okay, so plop this on, just slap it on. And then he's gonna throw on the strawberries. I'm actually just gonna make one because let's be real. I'm only gonna have a bite. And then he went in with the cinnamon. Okay. So that doesn't look so bad, right folks? And now we taste. It's actually pretty good. Like I just had two bites, that's a good sign. High protein, a little bit of carbs here. It's not a bad snack nutritionally from the hunger crushing combination perspective. Could we use a more nutritious base for the yogurt? Sure, but I also don't think toast would hold up to the yogurt as well 
as like a thick rice cake. So I get, I get the choice. And obviously also it's got like 30 calories. So I guess that's what he's going for. But you could also just like use this as a dip if you wanted. Mm. It's not bad. It's really not. The PB2 makes it though. Okay. Dunzo she is. I'm just going to eat this all. All right. Snack number two. Okay, so this video is definitely testing me. Uh, it's basically a compilation of all of the foods that I used to eat when I was struggling with disordered eating. And fat-free Cool Whip was like my go-to ice cream hack. Anyway, sure, it is a sweet option when you're craving like a low calorie ice cream-like texture, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing like really nutritious going on about it. It's really just, just something to put in your mouth. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. But yeah, Fat-Free Cool Whip is basically like some combination of hydrogenated oils and high fructose corn syrup and flavor. I'm not gonna demonize it and call it poison or toxic or even like it's not real food if you like this, but I don't know. I'd rather eat real cream, but less of it if I was trying to lose weight. It's a good idea, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I love me a good graham cracker ice cream sandwich. Oh yeah. That's how she, that is how it comes out. It's like foam. All right. Ooh. I mean, kind of smart. I don't have the patience to like do a thorough job, but this is good enough for me. All right. Cheers, lovers. I kind of like it. Not a lot of flavor, not overwhelmingly sweet. Just kind of like cold, melts in your mouth quickly. It's okay. I guess I can see the appeal of this. These, you know, it's got like 20 calories per two tablespoons. So like 10 calories a tablespoon and graham crackers are not particularly high in calories either. So I guess it's not so bad. I would probably roll this in sprinkles just because I don't know, an ice cream bar is just not fun enough without sprinkles. If you're gonna make an ice cream bar, you gotta throw some sprinkles in there, or like chopped nuts or something like that. That would also up the satiety factor, make it a little bit more fun, more texture going on. Cause right now this feels just kind of like foam that melts in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Cool Up is basically just melting foam. All right, what's next? Next, we're going savory because I'm an adult and I can have my sweets first if I want. So let's take a peek see at this breakfast option. Let's make this. Pam, apparently zero calories, but only if you spray it for a fourth of a second. So yeah, not exactly zero calories, just FYI. Oh God, she said I have to flip it. I am not good at flipping these things. Okay, I'm not gonna flip it. It's going to be a nightmare if I do. So now turn it down. Everything bagel. You guys know I love this. Not bad. Not da bad. Okay, so she said now to like let it cool for a second. I don't know how one handles this with their hands, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it work. All right, some ham. We got some cheese, Swiss cheese, a baby spinach, a pickle. And the pickle juices are like dripping onto the hot egg. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ugh. 
Um, okay, so definitely a low fat, low carb option. I mean, it definitely makes sense for those on a lower carb diet. I am personally not triggered by calling like diet foods the names of other foods when they absolutely are not those foods, like a wrap. I mean, I know it's not a wrap. I know it's not a wrap, but if you wanna call it a wrap, I get what you're saying. So I'm not gonna bitch about that. But I do feel like I would rather eat this as like an omelet with a fork and knife. Cause I'm kind of weirded out by the idea of picking up egg whites, like these soggy egg whites with my hands. Ugh. Okay, so let's taste, despite me feeling triggered by the feeling and the like, the squishy sound of egg whites in my fingers with a wet pickle in the middle. What the f am I eating? Oh my God. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong on so many levels. Give me back the cool whip. No, no. Didn't like it, bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, I mean, it is probably pretty saging with all that protein, I'll give it that. But if you want to make it more balanced, you could throw it in an actual wrap, a whole grain wrap would be great. Or you could add whole eggs or do like one whole egg or one or two whole eggs with some egg whites if you want extra protein in there. Or you could just not eat that at all. All right, switching gears here, we are going to do kind of an Alfredo noodle, like a low, low calorie Alfredo. I'm scared. First, you're gonna to wanna to dump your noodles into a strainer. Can't say I'm excited about this one, but here we are. I feel violated. I feel violated just by the smell. So this is why apparently these need to be rinsed and they need to be rinsed good. You could see my face right now. It's not enthusiastic. Spinach, please save us. <sighs> Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. I'm gonna kill some time as I work up the courage to put this in my mouth and tell you about a little story. So I first discovered Miracle Noodles from Hungry Girl. Do you guys remember Hungry Girl? Yeah, she still sends out a bunch of emails every single day and apparently they all go to my junk, thankfully. But anyways, these Miracle Noodles are made of like a high fiber konjac noodle or a konjac fiber, which expands in your tummy and can sometimes cause some serious digestive stress in some folks and probably me. And actually in the worst case scenario, it can even cause blockages. So that's cool. But yeah, they mainly just smell really gross to me. I also don't think that this even would be very satiating at all because it's just so low in calories. Like there's not a whole lot going on here nutrition wise. So I would way rather use like zucchini noodles or spaghetti squash noodles as like a low carb, low cal noodle hack. Anything that doesn't smell like this and then I'd also love to see like some protein added. I know she put some chicken on hers in the video. So yeah, that to me is a must. Okay, let's do this. Oh my God. Can I spit it out? All right, I just swallowed it. It's over. I desperately need something better in my mouth right now. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. Okay, so we're gonna finish with something sweet because Oh, your girl is desperate to cleanse the palate. All right, a little protein explosion pudding, shall we? Looks good.
right. Well, anything can be better than what I just experienced, so let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna do half a portion, I think. Should be enough for my appetite for this. Enough. A gloop, blob, blob, blob. Sugar free jello. <laughs> Let's blend. So, this looks a little like diarrhea. Like if you were to take refried beans and then puree them until they are really, really smooth, that's the consistency you'd get. I was excited about eating this before I made it. Anywho, let's try. Oh God. I think when you stop consuming a lot of artificial sweeteners, they really overwhelm your palate. Nutritionally speaking, we've got some strawberries, we've got some carbs, we've got a lot of protein, so that's definitely probably very satiating. But if this was like a post-workout snack, I'd want to see those carbs bumped up. So, you know, maybe instead of all that chocolate syrup on top, we throw on some more fruit. We put some granola in there. You know, maybe a drizzle of peanut butter for some healthy fats. That would be a lot better. That would be super tasty. And I would way rather just have more of the real cocoa flavor rather than sugar-free chocolate pudding. Yep, I'm good. So what have we learned? Well, I would say that, you know, my expectations were low. Something surprised me. I mean, Cool Whip. You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Not my favorite. It's not ice cream. It tastes a little bit like melting foam, but like a rice cake, I see the appeal. I see why people like that kind of nostalgic texture. It's, it's you know, you can't compare it to whipped cream or ice cream, you just can't, but it is in its own league of interesting. Miracle noodles, on the other hand, have got to go. Oh, I never want to eat another Miracle Noodle in my life. They taste like rubber bands to me and they smell like stinky fish, even after I rinsed the hell out of them. But anywho, if you're on TikTok, definitely give me a follow at Abby's Kitchen. You won't see me using a lot of diet products and making recipes that are like low calorie or calorie free, but you will see me busting a lot of nutrition myths and taking down diet culture. So for more Abby's Kitchen goodness, check me out on TikTok. And if you wanna see me review more TikTok recipes and more TikTok content, leave me a comment below. And until then, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Abby's Kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye.